got a couple different things we're going to do. We're going to start with the chamber wants to do a ribbon cutting. And then we'll have some beautiful music from the Springboro High School Choir. So, um, chamber? Chamber choir, yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Carol Hughes from the Springboro Chamber of Commerce, and it's a great honor for us to be present here for the ribbon cutting on this beautiful new lovely chapel here at the Springboro Cemetery. And I know we've got a lot of dignitaries that um, Rick is bringing up now to, to be in the picture for the ribbon cutting, but this will take 30 seconds if you just bear with us. Um, yeah, okay. congratulations, everybody. Cut. Three, three, two, one. Hi, I'm Beth Jamison. I'm the choir director at Springboro High School, and I'd just like to thank you for inviting us to be here tonight for this, this really cool ceremony. Um, this is the chamber choir, one of three choirs, competition choirs at the high school, and a good number of them are leaving on Tuesday to sing in Rome, Italy. Yeah. So next Sunday, they have the jitters now, but a week from this Sunday, we'll be doing mass at St. Peter's Basilica at four o'clock in the afternoon. So please say a prayer for us and think about us. And thank you for letting us be here with you tonight. like the brazen giant of Greek fame, with conquering limbs astride from land to land, here at our sea-washed sunset gates shall stand a mighty woman with a torch, whose flame is the imprisoned lightning, and her name, Mother of Exiles. From her beacon hand glows worldwide welcome. Her mild eyes command the air-bridged harbor that Twin Cities fame. Keep ancient lands your storied pomp, cries she with silent lips. Give me your poor, your tired, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door.
need a big screen. We don't need any advertisement. We have the real people here to provide our music. <laughs> Thank you, Chamber Choir of Springboro High School. Uh, did everybody see me in the choir? Well, I just wanted everybody to see that because I got good news and bad news. The board, I'm going to Rome in a week. Mike, works here at Cemetery, you've got everything where I'm going. That's bad news, Mike. All right. I'm going to, uh, we're going to jump around a little bit with the program. I'm going to do some thank yous before we get into part of the dedication part. Uh, I don't know if I do this and I go to something else, I'm going to realize I've got some and I'm going to come back and catch that part up. So, again, uh, the lovely family, Jack and Dorothy Lovely, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Center of uh, Senior Kids, and this project required a little extra help uh, for our deadline, so the junior kids actually came out on site, and I think they don't do that very often, but they did come out on this, so they got to jump for next year's uh, project. Jack has asked me to inform the uh, trades uh, students uh, that he would like to shake each and every one of your hands, so in a minute, we can do that, and you can come up here if you would like to shake each and every one of your hands, so you can come up and do that, and go back out and come back around. Okay, so he wants to thank each and every one of you perfectly. So, uh, again, I want to thank uh, the school uh, on a fantastic attitude when they was out here, uh, the work ethic. It was amazing to watch these kids work. It. Some people don't think our youth work in. I wish you had popped out here any day between 8 to 10 and, and uh, noon to 2, the two different groups, juniors in the morning, seniors in the afternoon. We'd have funerals out here and they would stop working and show their respect. It was amazing. So, uh, Steve, mm -hmm. would you come up first? We'll gather them up. Gather them up? Okay. And uh, Steve, this is uh, for everybody that knows. Uh, he's the instructor of the Carpenter's Trade, which is. When you're building something like this, uh, the carpenter trade probably is almost 75% of the work. They, they build, they paint, uh, and then the electricians do their thing, and then HV, the heating and uh, ventilation system does the other. The biggest majority, about 75%. Um, it's been a pleasure, Steve, out here. Um, so, yeah. yes, you want that. We, we had at any given time there. 29 carpentry students working on this, and there were about all oh, 17 or 18 electricians and about 12 um, HVAC students. And to get them all to come back after school's let out was hard. So this is the same thing. Of all of them. Yeah. This way around. back to the library 
Anybody knew me back at school, they, they, had, uh, they didn't see me in the library. But, uh, there's a pool hall, a Fatty's pool hall up here in Redline. I used to spend a lot of time there when I was working. Right, Rick Sinners? You were there. So I went and got fit books and started researching, and then we sat down and we started. Um, I think me and Steve hit it off really quick on our vision of the chapel. And then we relayed that to this guy with the magic pen. And he said, okay. And uh, he went to draw it, and he brought us that. And we didn't make one revision other than I caught the final print that showed an extra window. Uh, other than that, we didn't change one thing uh, to it. Uh, I'd like to thank you. But that's amazing that you can sit down with an architect and, and come up with that and never make any changes. So uh, we appreciate that. And he did not have a charge for that either. So. Wow. So stick around because I got some news for you and the trades. And Jack and Dorothy have got good news and I got bad news. What do you want first? Good news? Good news? Okay. This is such a wonderful thing, but uh, on our first date, uh, we're looking at an expansion. <laughs> so the school's here, the electricians, the carpenters, HB. They said the HB system was large enough to take an expansion on. We've got the architect here. It's only going to take you and your checkbook, Jack. <laughs> Kids have got to learn, Jack. Kids have got to learn. All right, but some other people came on board uh, when we got started early with Tom Brown. Is Tom Brown is here? Okay, we dig it, excavating down by Texas Eastern. Sat with him and, and uh, asked for help. And uh, this is the amazing thing about this project. What my part was is to ask people to help. Me. And I didn't have a pen or a checkbook, so they kind of knew that I was asking them to do it. So Tom came on board. He was actually out here on our equipment digging this foundation pouring the foundation with our help and uh, his brother uh, Matt, Matt came on board to do box. So they gave us the he, uh, estimating part he done pro bono too, so I want to thank him. Anderson Turf Farm came out and donated some sod to us the other day. Uh, these pews right here got delivered about uh, 3 o'clock today. There's a place down by Texas called People's Church, uh, Church Pews and he came in here and he made these. They were long uh, six foot, they were like nine feet, cut them down and put those in here, and he donated those too. Uh, Charles Anderson from uh, Anderson's Funeral Home donated the chairs. Uh, they upgraded and bought some chairs, and I asked for new, and I got used. <laughs> and the crawl space is about five feet, so if we go down, we'll have a little bit of a drop. <laughs> Seeing the construction, uh, this, this is solid floor. Um, I want to thank our uh, city officials uh, that uh, helped us with uh, getting this project started with the city of Springboro. Thank you, thank city. Fairfield Township, I see their administrator yeah, right here. And Jason's around somewhere, and Ed Wade's around somewhere. Yeah, they're dead. Because uh, I had to go there, and, and they didn't send me packing out the door with a lot of revisions either. So they, they were on board. So that uh, made, made it a lot easier. So, uh, we just, I just came on board 20 months ago, and uh, we have achieved a lot. <laughs> have our president of the board come up and say some remarks, and then we're going to hear from Pastor Terry. So we'll start with Dr. Scott Swope, our board president here at Memorial Cemetery. Thank you very much. You, you people are all gone. We are so happy to see each and every one of you here today. And that just shows what happens in Clear Creek, Warren County, Springboro, Ohio. When you need something done, it gets done, and it gets done right. People keep telling me, I hear it almost daily, and I'm sure many of you do too. 
our young people don't work. Well, I'll bet you, and I would take this building and this group and put them against any trade group in the state of Ohio or somewhere else, and you wouldn't get as well a finished job as what you see here today or what you heard from the choir. That was just awesome. And that's what we all like about Springboro, and that's what we like about the lovely family. Jack and Dorothy they have been so helpful and so easy to work with. And the lovely chapel is exactly that. It is lovely. It's beautiful. It's attractive. It's pretty. It's appealing. It's adorable. It's exquisite. And right here at home, it's personable. And that's what we wanted to do, is to bring Spring World Cemetery, which had its foundings 150 plus years ago, to a little more personable home, family type feeling. Cemeteries are usually not the place you go for a party. They're not a lot of fun. And I think today, our Lord reminds us of that. It's quite. And that's what happens many times at a cemetery. You see a lot of clouds. I know that many of you know my very closest dear friend, resting right up there. Mr. Post Office, Richard Chenault, always said, be brief. Be brief. <laughs> <laughs> and I sure don't want to pass my time away. But one thing that I would like to do is to read the 23rd Psalm. And I'm sure many of you know that. And as we approach this building, the future it has here, and the way it can touch the families that will follow through here. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, and thy rod and thy staff that come me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies, and anointest my head with oil. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Uh, let me say a couple words uh, about Dorothy. We we talk about Jack a lot, the cattle baron here in town. <laughs> he has many titles. So I have the uh, Pastor Terry come up here. We, we can almost say what we want, and after he gets up blessing this building, we have to behave ourselves. <laughs> um, I went out to uh, their house uh, a couple weeks ago, and I tried to. I told Jack what I was doing, and I thought he would grease it a little bit for me, make it easier. And I said, Dorothy, I want to take you shopping. I said, We'll go to Kohl's. We'll go down to Eleven to Peebles. I want to take you, get you a nice outfit for this dedication, and she declined to go. Now, what kind of woman turned out a new pair of shoes? <laughs> and a new outfit, really. But that's, that just is about Jack and Dorothy. They, they don't want much. They don't ask for anything. Uh, best friends you have. All right. Uh, I'm going to bring up our vice chair here, and he said, on the invitation. Okay, one of my bosses is telling me. Terry, you're up.
Uh, we're going to do an invitation. Me and Terry, we had a little conversation over in the office here just before we came. I said, uh, wow, we got a packed house. Any way we can squeeze in to pass the plate or the hat or something? <laughs> the boards always ask me how we can make more money. I said, I'll do a split. I'll 70 30. He said, 70 is good for me. <laughs> what is that? So I'm going to work on him. I'm not letting him do the work. But Terry, thank you for doing this. Let's bow together. Creator God the Father of us all, and the one who has taught us about love, life, and death. Lord, in this day, we stand on holy ground. The grounds of this cemetery is the resting place for many of our loved ones and many of our community founders. So we feel truly as if we are standing on hallowed ground, and now we are enclosed within hallowed walls in the sanctity of a brand new chapel, dedicated to that meeting place between life and death, a cemetery. In this case, the Springboro, Ohio Cemetery. It is my prayer today that you bless the staff and the board and the volunteers and Rick and all that work with it. You bless this building and these grounds. You bless this community as they not only support this endeavor and this ministry, but that you bless each family who has come here for solace and comfort and bless each family who will come here for solace and comfort. I rest my hand on this lovely Bible given by Scott and Judy that contains in it your word of truth and your promise of eternal salvation. So as we today bless this place, this meeting place between life and death, we ask that your spirit always guide, direct, bring comfort, and bring peace to this place and this community and all who pass through here. In the name of our Lord, we pray. And the people all said, Amen. Thank you, Terry. Um, looking out here uh, and down the sidewalk is full. I see a lot of families and friends and, and uh, to come out and see what our community is all about. So we are blessed to live in Springboro, Ohio. It's a great community. Great people want to keep giving back. And Jack and Dorothy are prime examples from when he was 18 going off to World War II and now having this chapel and that is badly needed when we're out here and it's zero and snow to say goodbye to a loved one. Now they can do it in here. So again, thank you. Uh, and I, I will say that we, we have some very good uh, relationships with our city and our township. And I'm, I'm looking out here at another Egan Road assistant fire chief. And I asked him to come in, but he'd have to let us dismiss because we're over capacity. <laughs> so with his friendship that I'm indebted to, he's gonna stay outside so he don't have to do his official business. Again, Jack, that's where we come with that expansion. <laughs> so we're gonna keep Steve out there. All right, if we can uh, bring up our vice chair and he's saying something from the city, right? John Agenbrode, our mayor. Good afternoon, late afternoon, evening. It's always a pleasure to start a Memorial Day weekend off. It's so fitting to be here and honor this great family and this great chapel. Uh, I apologize for not being all decked out like I usually am, but I'm around out of time today, so what you see is what you get. But it doesn't change how I feel about this special day. About this, uh, My wife's got a proclamation she's gonna read over on my behalf because what we did, we went down the road, we got the jacks, we couldn't get in the truck, so we got into Dorothy's car. So my proclamation, the glasses, it's all in the truck. So we sent MERS that did a beeline down to get the proclamation, and all the cheaters I've used, none of them work. So she's going to read the proclamation so the mayor doesn't screw up. 
But in any case, why don't you do that now, if you would, please? From the office of the Mayor of City of Springboro, Ohio, proclamation. In honor and recognition of Jack and Dorothy Lovely at the dedication of Lovely's Chapel, May 26, 2016, Springboro Cemetery. Whereas today, May 26, 2016, we gather to dedicate the new Lovely's Chapel to the Springboro community. And whereas, thanks to Jack and Dorothy Lovely's generous donation, this beautiful new chapel was built on the grounds of the Springboro Cemetery. And whereas the new chapel is truly a gift to our citizens, made possible by Jack and Dorothy Lovely's generosity and above all their unwavering commitment and love for the Springboro community. And whereas Lovely's Chapel will provide a very special place for memorial services, life celebrations, and special occasions. And we deeply appreciate Jack and Dorothy Lovely's contribution to our cemetery. And whereas with our deepest gratitude for the Lovely's wonderful contribution, the mayor and city council and the entire Springboro community recognize and honor Jack and Dorothy Lovely as outstanding citizens of the year. Now, therefore, I, John Agenbrode, mayor of the city of Springboro, Ohio, by virtue of the authority vested in me, hereby recognize and honor Jack and Dorothy Lovely at the dedication of Lovely's Chapel at the Springboro Cemetery and on this day, May 26, 2016, and extend many thanks to each and every person who contributed to this project for their countless hours of hard work and inspiration and who gave our community this beautiful new chapel for our citizens to enjoy for many years to come. In witness whereof, I hear I have hereunto set my hand in official seal as mayor of the city of Springboro on this 26th day of May, 2016, John A. Jagenbrode, mayor. The lights were blickering because you just don't understand why she was doing my proclamation. It was just wasn't a customer. Not doing that. Okay. So now I will, I will say some remarks. Uh, obviously, uh, I love this community, as do you. And it's so fitting that we're all together here to honor such a great establishment. America is already great. We can be greater, but we are already great. So we don't need anybody to remind us that we all know that. And that's not a political statement. We all know it. We're, we bleed red, white, and blue. I see in the audience so many people who answer the call and serve their country, myself included. But one thing about this man right here, World War II, the greatest generation of all time. Tom Brooke Hall's book. <laughs> and that includes the greatest generation, Dorothy and Jack. That was the greatest generation of all time. They saw the vision of how important our country is and it will always be. And their generosity, their love, their compassion, they don't want anything, no glory. It's just they want to be an American. And that, I mean, that touches everybody's heart. So Jack and Dorothy, uh, Rick couldn't have said it better, Doc Swope couldn't have said it better, and all the board couldn't have said it better. You are very special to all of us, and we love you. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to switch gears to another hat. I know Mr. Chenault says keep it brief, but they've asked me to speak on their behalf on the way here. So, they said, you're going to be my driver. I asked Jack, you want to sit in the back seat, Jack, and I'll be your chauffeur? He says, no, Dorothy could have a steady diet of that. I don't think she'd like that too much if I'm sitting in the back seat. That's the old days. <laughs> <laughs> I had to share that, Jack. Anyway, anyway we, uh, Jack, it's just, it's, just, it's just such an honor to be a part of this. And on your behalf, you and Dorothy's behalf, they wanted to thank you from the bottom of their heart for allowing them to make this happen. Rick, they obviously feel that when you made that little drive down to their house and you said, Jack, I got a deal you're you can't refuse. He just didn't know quite what it was, but he's honored that you did that. And so he thanks you for that trip, but he does, is not gonna reimburse you for the gas so you're on your own. <laughs> I got a fuel tank out back. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't try and give him for a tank here. He's not buying it. But anyway, they want you to know uh, this is all about the lovely name. And it's, got, it's the Lovely's Chapel. And the, all the people who have been here for so many years know what the lovely family has done and what they've meant to us. And these two folks couldn't have said it better. 
I know our family loves you and all the families here today love you and they honor you and they know that you're thanking them from the bottom of your heart. So thank you for all you've done and all you will continue to do and we all love you very much. Mic back up. Yeah, again, uh, some of you, uh, we keep mentioning Jack, but Jack had uh, other brothers and they served in World War II and Bob. And, and like I said, the lovely families, what they've given this country. Uh, Bob is, uh, we, we have coffee seven days a week. Sorry, Terry. We do start on Sunday with coffee too. <laughs> I think they spiked that coffee. That's why I'm not able to get to the church afterwards. You got your church now. Okay, I'll, I'll work on that. Uh, but in the wall of Lovely's Barn out there, uh, uh, there's pictures of World War II planes and everything, and, and his brother had drove, uh, flew a bomber missions over Germany numerous times. So again, <clears throat> the character of the Lovely family goes way back. And uh, we, we are just grateful to have him. Um, I see, um, Phil, would you family stand up? I want to, Phil and your wife, lovely wife, and your two children, yeah? Good. Uh, like I said, m my job, I have the best job. I, I tell the board it's hard. They need to pay me more. It's really tough, but it is really the easiest job that I've had because people never stop helping. So I just out of the blue, he's having coffee uh, at the barn, and I said, Phil, we need to put up flags, about a thousand flags uh, for Memorial Day. And I've had the Girl Scouts do it before, but it's just come on, and he said they would be there. So his two lovely children, his wife was out here a week ago Saturday with my two grandchildren and my son, and, and the eight of us went out there and put up a thousand flags in just under two hours. Wow. It never, it never stopped me. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes. Bill's mother is the one that made that picture. Oh, uh, yeah, one of the pictures of Bob. Uh, uh, Phil's mother uh, made the picture. It's out at the barn. Uh, it's, a real fancy it's a beautiful, beautiful picture. But I just thank you for coming out and helping us. <laughs> the board, it only took two $5 can W gift certificates to pay those kids. <laughs> I'm saving money. Do I have a commitment for next year? All right. So, it, like I said, it's so easy to keep asking and pe people keep delivering. It's just made easy. I am uh, got a great staff out here. Renee's right here. She's in the office. Thank you, for Ray, Renee, for everything you do. Mike's here um, with his girlfriend, Kathy. Uh, another gentleman, uh, uh, a military, Navy, he left here. He's taking some classes at school. And so he had to go do his exams. Uh, they work really hard to make this cemetery look good and they do and i thank you sorry renee there's a lot of windows that's getting clean now yeah she says mike she did yeah mike did the windows today so but we'll talk about that um uh, does uh ed or jason want to say something trusty you're good administrator would you like saying just keep doing it so you don't get this job right keep up everything all right uh, again the students and the instructors were amazing uh, the three would you step in uh, Steve and Rick and we got HV we got, these are the three instructors of the kids this they took care of the heating and air conditioning Rick centers got the electrician and Steve had all the carpenters again guys Every time we'd have a little idea to change this a little bit, like some running, uh, lighting up here and a little extra trim up there, and then they said, hey, how about a cross up on the top? The, everybody wants to get involved with the, with the project, and then the machine shop wanted to make the cross. I had to go to that Jack and Dorothy. I said, how about a cross up on the top? They said, absolutely. So they did that. So everybody just kept giving. But uh, again, thank you for coming out for this dedication. Um, I can't say it. Thank you enough. Um, 
the community is going to really get a big benefit out of this, uh, say goodbye to their loved ones without having to be out in bad weather and they can do it in this lovely, lovely chapel. And uh, so I uh, thank you. Over in the office, I do have some refreshments and I'd like you to uh, mingle over that way. We have a restroom in there if you need it. And we have some uh, cookies and some sandwiches. Yeah, and we'll close with a benediction here with Terry in just a minute. So uh, that's where we'll be and then take a walk around, see the building and everything. And uh, all right, so Terry. Let's pray. Truly, Lord, make your face to shine upon each of us in this life and in the next. Again, your blessing upon us, this place, and upon this community. And God bless America. Amen. Amen.